Is the world really going crazy, or is technology making people think outside the box to the extent of doing crazy things? Let's find out in this video. Hey, and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, we'll talk extensively about different people who choose to take in robots as companions or partners, the reasons, and what we think will happen if this continues. So sit back and relax as I take you into the world of AI and robotics once again. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this video to get updates on our latest videos. Alright, let's dive in. People with Robotic Partners Let's start with Zhang Jia Jia, a 31-year-old engineer and graduate of Zhejiang University, China. Zhang Jia Jia married a robot, Ying Ying, that he built in his apartment. Although Ying Ying can only say a few words, Zhang Jia Jia believes that he can upgrade her as technology becomes available. He believes that as he upgrades her, he can make her walk and do some chores around the house. Ever since this story got out, it's spread like wildfire on the internet. Zhang Jia Jia's story has made its way into articles and videos just like this one. If you think you've seen it all, then you may be interested in this next person, as Zhang Jia Jia is far from being the first person to marry a robot. Dave Cat is another person you may want to check out. Dave Cat didn't even get married to a robot like Zhang Jia Jia. Instead, Dave Cat married a real doll. The doll is a lifelike silicon and anatomically correct female doll that Dave Cat claims to love very much. Ned Neffer is another man with a similar story to Dave Cat, but instead of a doll, Ned Neffer married a mannequin head that he pushed around town in a wheelchair. Isn't that crazy? Men are not the only ones involved in all of these sagas. A woman in France is fighting for her right to marry a robot. In 2015, French woman Lily built herself a 3D printed robot called Inmovator. Inmovator and Lily live together, and Lily hopes to marry the robot she made the moment human robot marriage is legalized in France. But then, some people have created these robots to make a business out of it. A good example is Ricky Ma and his Scarlett Johansson robot. Ricky Ma invested $50,000 and 18 months of work to make an eerie, lifelike talking robot that looks exactly like Scarlett Johansson. Ma is still looking for investors so that he can make more to sell. Another man on this list is Jeff Gallagher, a man who lives with his humanoid robot Emma in Queensland, Australia. Jeff claims to be so in love with his robot that he now thinks he can't go without her. Jeff's love has now progressed to the point where he's willing to marry the robot. To deal with loneliness and depression, Jeff turned to artificial intelligence when his mother passed away. This was why he bought Emma. Jeff had no clue that his relationship with the machine would transform into an emotional one. The robot became Jeff's companion in September 2019. Although Emma can't stand on her own, Jeff dedicates his time to taking care of the robots, and he makes sure to carry her around in his car. Jeff hopes to be the first person in Australia to marry a robot one day. He also believes that by sharing his story, others will share theirs too and be inspired to have robotic companions. The last man on this list is Akihiko Kondo. Akihiko Kondo is a Japanese man from Tokyo who married his gatebox robots. Akihiko Kondo bought the Gatebox robot after he gave up on dating. Gatebox virtual home robots are designed to be a companion for people who need one. The robot has been trained to perform small tasks around the house. This robot can text Kondo while he's at work, turn on lights when he's on his way home, brush his teeth with him, and carry on a conversation. Kondo named his Gatebox robot Hasun Miku. Miku is the hologram of a 16-year-old female Japanese singer, which Kondo seems to like very much. Miku married his robot in early November in front of 40 guests, but none of Kondo's family attended the wedding, and Kondo even went as far as to spend over 2 million yen. While the Japanese government doesn't recognize this union as a legal marriage, it's surprising to know that over 3,700 people all over the world are married to their gatebox robots. Gatebox has issued a couple of cross-dimension marriage certifications over the years. The reason There has to be a lot of questions running through your mind right now, and one of them would be why would anyone marry a robot? 
Well, while I don't have a perfect answer to why these people get married to robots, I can share a few reasons why they must have done this. Let's start with Dave Cat. According to Dave Cat, he feels like there's a whole lot of people who have given up on love with human beings and wish that something magical would happen. Dave Cat decided that rather than taking the risk involved with loving humans, he would go for a doll. In an interview with a reporter, Dave Cat said, I'm not interested in having someone who may bail out at any time or who transforms into someone unpleasant. Dave Cat chose to marry a doll because he can't cope with a human lover. Another reason played its part in Zhang Jiajia's life. That reason is excruciating loneliness. Zhang Jiajia said that he only thought about building Ying Ying after being left by the woman he thought he was going to marry. This made him depressed and lonely. And as if that wasn't enough, Zhang's parents kept pushing him to find a wife, and since he couldn't find one in real life, he built one. Other Reasons Japan is one of those countries whose people seem to not be love lucky. One third of people over 30 in Japan have never even been on a date. And a lot of men, about a quarter of them, are saying that they're no longer romantically interested in women. These men have decided to go with artificial companions instead. This is why the purchase of companion robots is on the high side. However, Japan isn't the only country that's suffering from breakups, divorce, and sour or bitter love. For example, the US has a lot of broken marriages and relationships. It's become difficult for most people to find love, and most of them have resulted in robot companions. So what will happen if this continues? Some people think that pretty soon, the weirdness in the human robot companion stories wouldn't mean anything anymore very soon. For example, David Levy is convinced that it'll be legal to marry robots by 2050, as same-gender marriage was once crazy and now outrageous about 35 years ago, but now it's become more common. He's convinced that this will happen with robots too. Professor Adrian Chiak is another man who thinks that love with a robot is going to become as normal as browsing online. According to him, relationships with humans may be like going to a concert, while a relationship with a robot will be like listening to an album at home. When you're at home, you can listen to Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, but once or twice a year, you'll want to go to Royal Albert Hall and hear it in a concert hall. Analyzing the Reasons one key factor that we may need to look into concerning why the rate of human-robot relationships is high in places like Japan and China is the gender gap factor. According to the World Economic Forum from the Global Gender Gap Report, for every 100 women born in China, 114 men are born. The report ranked Japan at 111 out of 144 countries on the gender gap scale. Also, the report says that the average life expectancy of single people in Japan is 30 for women and 31 for men. This gender gap issue has made most men result in robot companionship. Falling population rates are another factor affecting partnerships. Since 2015, Japan's population rate has decreased rapidly. The 2010 and 2015 census reports that Japan's population dropped by 1 million people in 5 years. In 2018 too, for the 37th year in a row, the number of children born in Japan dropped massively. The 2015 report says that by 2050, 40% of Japan's population will be defined as elderly.